Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to review and share my experience of the CSS Audio Tory uh, Stand Mount Mini Bookshelf Speakers that you can buy under 400 US dollars. So that is depending on what package you're going to go with, such as uh, you're going to go with flat pack or just the drivers and internet components. Please check the website, CSS Audio website on more detail. Not like a 1TDX or 2DDX like I did a few years back because uh, they rebuilt this unit, this Tory um, mini monitor speakers and they sent it to me for review. Finishing quality is pretty decent. The African uh, mahogany veneer top of the MDF cabinet. Cabinet size is about 12 inch high and 12 inch deep. The height and depth is the same so that's where all the base come from. It uses the uh, 5 and quarter inch base driver and 1 inch soft dome tweeter. So overall fit and finish and build quality that they did is very good. Right now, I haven't took my measurements of the speaker yet. So all my comments right now is based on my listening test. You know, went through a bunch of music and check in the uh, uh, bass frequency response monitor that I can see it on the screen so how low they went. So basically a uh, bass response in this position is like little almost like three feet behind the speakers. This is rear ported design and pretty good amount of toe in probably like 20 degree or so or a little more toe in towards my listening area. Usually I sit around like 10 feet away with this speaker I bring my chair closer about eight feet from the center of the system. So that's where I sit for all my auditioning with this CSS Tory bookshelf speaker. So what happened is it has a, a really good bass response for small speakers. Hence, it has really deep uh, cabinet for it. Although it uses the uh, five and quarter inch uh, mid range and bass driver, but it can produce good amount of bass. Based on my hearing, it goes down to like upper 40, 45, 47 hertz in room response in my room. So it's very good bass response for small speaker. And um, what I like is the, uh, the way that it can produce is like deep bass with the uh, nice smooth sound. It, although it may not be the cleanest bass that you will hear, it may not be the more articulate bass that uh, you might enjoy listening from such as uh, KEF LS50 or LS50 Matter. So this one, it can go deep and it can produce good amount of bass for such a small speaker, but not the best bass quality. That's just to be honest with you sharing my experience. So, but the price, I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just sharing my experience. And uh, I'm not sure if they're going to sell ready-made, meaning fully assembled, fully manufactured unit like they offer in like 1TDX or 2TDX speakers. So this one, I haven't heard anything yet or anything that they listed on their web website as of right now. So this one retail for just under $400 that you have to do it yourself at home. What I like is the way that it can produce the music in engaging manner, meaning it has a rich tonality with deep sound stage and good amount of uh, soundscape and wide sound stage that it can produce as well as the depth is very impressive for this size of the speaker. This is going to be pretty tough competition especially because in this price point there are a lot of speakers okay but if you want tonally engaging musically enjoyable without getting fatigue this is the speaker that you might want to look into because it has a speed. I mean, like it doesn't have the uh, speed or articulation or immediacy like one TDA can do, but this one definitely has the smooth and engaging tonal tonal quality with very good dynamic range as well as 
good amount of instrument separation. Sound staging, very good. Stereo image is good, but not the best one in this price point. But for the price, it's very good. For the stereo image wise, better than Project Speaker Box 5 in stereo image and depth and bass quality or deepest of the bass for this size and this price of the speakers that you can have. So another thing is the uh, pairing components, right? So this kind of price point, no one's going to spend three, four $4,000 worth of uh, amplifiers or deck or that kind of stuff. So because of that, I try with Topping PA5, a Class D amplifier, which is very transparent and neutral sounding Class D M. Although it's under power, but it's very capable, very probably one of the cleanest sounding uh, mini amplifier that you can buy for 300 around 350 about same price as this speaker so that little class d amplifier can produce incredible amount of detail everything with many speakers that i try regardless of what price point of the speaker but when i try with this one what i notice is the uh, uh muddiness okay then uh, I realized the amplifier is under power and it may not be producing enough juice to drive, you know, properly drive this uh, Tory bookshelf speaker. So, but I keep on trying. Then I switch speaker wires to uh, five bulk or ribbon speaker wires instead of uh, my standard Canary 4S11. So what happened is Canary 4S11 has here yeah, probably deepest bass quality and bass it can produce out of uh, readily available pro grade speaker wires in general so that speaker cable and this speaker doesn't match well because it get boomy and muddy in upper bass to like lower mid-range transition areas are congested and i can't make out of a proper you know, I can hear the uh, proper definition and resolution that I used to hearing from uh, my other setup. So I switch over to Ice Power 500 watts Class D mono blocks and separate system. It totally opens up because this one really need good amount of power to bring the best out of this. You can pair with any Class D amplifier because nature of or sound signature of this Tory Bookshare speaker is very forgiving, engaging, and as well as uh, uh, tonally, I mean like it's engaging sound with very good uh, driver's integration. So you can pair with any kind of Class D amplifier, it will sound great, but please keep in mind, you want to give it at least 200 watts at full on load. You just need to feed them power to bring the best, that's all. If you're going to pair with two, $300 price range of uh, 50 watt to like 80 watts amplifier, I don't think they will pair really nicely. So you just need to have a proper power to get the best out of it. And then I switch over to my reference amplifier, Deno PMA SX11, which is retail for around like 4,500 to five grand. So I switch it over and I connect it to, you know, Delta Sigma DAG SMS SU10. And overall resolution and everything is incredibly good and improved, particularly, you know, even 500 watts class d and mono blocks couldn't bring that much of resolution out of this speaker compared to this uh, class a bias uh, solid state amplifier that i really love and enjoy listening to what i can notice is when i pair with this dano pme sx11 bass notes can bring up more separations and more articulated and more elevated cleaner sound quality in you know that is totally elevated as well as much cleaner and musical mid-range and probably uh, one of the nicest sounding mid-range quality that you will have in this price point if you pair nicely with your you know amplifier as well as the voices are incredibly good very 
natural and accurate for this price point of the speaker. But you will have a decent quality sound for sure with any entry level amplifiers. I mean, musical engagement and everything. This one is go to speaker if you are shopping for good entry level speaker as long as your amplification can keep up with it. So that is my experience. I will say this is a great buy for the price that you can have. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this Tory Bookshare speaker, you know, in room response in my room and I will comment and share my experience with you again. So it took me about a good 10 minutes to measure the in-room response measurements. I did five runs on exit measurement right in front of the tweeter. I did the average one six smoothing. And as you can see, it has the uh, more pronounced in mid bass area as well as some may call it BBC dip, like around like 1,000 to 2,000 hertz frequency dip. That kind of uh, response tend to have a very good smooth sound quality. So that this speaker totally reflect the, uh, my in-room response measurement. I don't know about the manufacturer CSS audio measurements, but in-room response measurements and in-room my listening section, this one is one of the most uh, smooth and engaging sound, very forgiving little mini monitor speaker that you can have. But please keep in mind, you have to leave a good room behind the speaker. So it, at least like 24 inches away from the wall behind it to get best uh, bass quality and cleaner bass quality out of them. So please keep in mind, if you want more accurate, most uh, resolution out of your mini uh, bookshelf speaker, this may not be the best choice, but if you want very engaging, musical sounding and rich and smooth sound quality out of mini monitor speaker in this price point, this could be the great buy. So that is the one thing that I like to mention it to you. Power handling is about same as LS50 or LS50 matter because if I raise this volume control knob to like past nine o'clock position on this amplifier using bass heavy tracks such as uh, Billie Eilish Bad Guy, this bass driver was starting to bottoms out. That's the uh, physical limitation, regardless of uh, depth of the cabinet. So that is my experience testing out bass heavy tracks. Highs are not terribly rolled off or any sort of that kind of sound. Uh, it has a uh, nice and even sound quality, sound reproduction and response, but it just uh, does not have the most spacious and airiness sound quality that I'm used to. But this is entry level speakers. I'm not complaining. I'm just sharing my experience using this speaker with three different type of amplification. If you like a lot of modern music, they play really nice. You will totally enjoy listening to it. If you are looking for a speaker to relax and enjoy your music and just set it and forget it, just play your music, this speaker is great buy. So if you are that person, I can easily recommend it to you to try the CSS Audio Tory Mini Monitor Bookshelf speaker that you can totally enjoy your music all over again. So that is my experience, my friend. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your music.
grade on the bass, Mr. Pretty Boy Chris is on this. On the guitar. On the Mallorca. Yeah. 